One of the things that really makes our program stand out is our commitment to teamwork. And that commitment starts at the top. During your residency here, you'll learn to work as a team with your fellow residents and faculty members and to collaborate with specialists in other departments in a comprehensive approach to patient care. Despite the fact that neurosurgery is an individual sport, you're the only person operating on somebody's brain or spine at the moment, the practice of neurosurgery is a team sport. One of the best books I've ever read about team building and team play is called The Boys in the Boat. And it's about the uh, 1936 rowing team that competed in the, in the Olympics and won the gold medal. And I think one of the most beautiful descriptions of a team being unified is, is written in that text. And, and that's the model that I strive for here. Not that we achieve it every day, because we're all human, we all make errors. But again, we do end up rowing in the same direction, at the same pace, and we want to achieve the same goal. The most remarkable thing that I've watched and have been able to be part of is really Phil's role as a chairman and as a leader, the culture that he inspired into the program, and then how he instilled you know, a lot of the qualities that he was looking for, you know, integrity, compassion, scientific curiosity, technical superiority, how he really instilled that into his faculty, but much more important also into the residents. And you can see from, you know, what the decisions that the residents then make to go on further into other fellowships or the careers that they choose for themselves, that really tells us how, how good and how special this program is. And, that's something that has been most remarkable for me to watch and observe closely for, you know, two and a half decades now. I did my residency training, uh, actually two residencies uh, and a fellowship at Wild Cornell, New York Presbyterian, and then came on as faculty. And the thing that got me to come back was actually Dr. Steak and his vision and leadership for our department as it ascended the development of uh, neurological surgery training and the practice of neurosurgery as well. One of the best features of having Dr. Stieg as a chairman is that he will really uh, push both his faculty and his residents to find a niche within their area of interest. Um, not to become pigeonholed, but rather to become an expert in it. So to become an expert in something and, and to become a thought leader doesn't just enable you to pick up the most, the newest toys and the, and the next best thing. It, it encourages you to actually be the creator of that, of that innovation. There's no way to predict what the next generation, two generations of neurosurgeons is going to look like, but I can tell you that they've all got the itch and they all get this sense that I can change the way we've been doing things. Um, so I look forward to it. And I think we just have to continue to let our residents know that, you know, that this exists. Go out, explore, grab hold of what you can, and, and charge with it. I can't wait for some of the clinical trials that I get to be in, involved in. I can't wait to operate with my co-residents. I also just can't wait for, you know, at the very end of all this, when I'm looking back, thinking about, um, those those little moments that stand out along the way of when I felt like even as a resident I had the moment to really change somebody's life for the better. I know that Cornell is going to get me where I want to go um, and I just can't wait to get there.